Tim was born with cerebral palsy and he's encountered many challenges with walking, but a major orthopedic surgery this past spring made big differences in Tim's legs and he showed me he's striving to walk better than ever. Let's head on down to the balls over there. Tim's summer objectives are easy to explain. My goals are to walk straighter walk without any assistance. He spends at least an hour every day with Bay Cliff physical therapist Christy Osborne. She's already seen big differences in Tim since he arrived this summer, just one day after his casts from surgery were removed. When he came, he could walk 20 feet. Um, now we're three weeks in and he's walking 450 feet. We're doing like the straight line raises, you know, signs. A successful day of exercises makes Tim feel stretched and well rested. And after a not so good day, hate and sore. No matter the result of each session, Tim tells me he just keeps going. The way I motivate myself is trying to keep pushing harder on the therapies. In the week ahead, Tim will spend more time walking when he's not in his therapy sessions. He's focusing on how well he walks instead of how far he walks. I'm using his arms less when he walks because he's putting a lot of pressure through his arms right now, so we want him to be using his legs more. He has a really nice quality with how he walks. Tim's showing he can hold that quality for longer distances, building up to the summer's ultimate goal. We're hoping by the time camp's over, he'll be good to go without his walker. We'll be following Tim on your morning news throughout the rest of his summer at Baycliff, tracking his progress and learning more about this teenager who's inspiring others with his perseverance. Live in the newsroom, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News.